I was born in 1990, just when technology really took the world by storm. I have never known a life without a color television, computer, portable music, and portable telephones. Some of my most fond lessons were learned through shows on the television such as Sesame Street and Reading Rainbow. Starting in primary school, I had computer class, in which I was taught to type and play computer games. Oregon Trail was my best friend during free time. Today, my life revolves around technology. Although I don't have a television, I use my laptop for almost everything. I use it to read books and magazines, watch TV shows, play games, do homework, shop, and to stay in touch with friends and family. Even my touchscreen smartphone has access to the internet, and I always have it at my fingertips. This affects my life as a student in many ways. As a college student, it would be very difficult to go through a day of classes without some form of digital technology. Without my own laptop, I would have to spend a lot of time in the computer lab, which would take away from the speed and efficiency of my schoolwork. It is frustrating whenever I encounter a professor that is not very tech savvy. I expect my professors to know how to use a cell phone, a computer, the projector, and the internet. Anyone who is unable to do these things competently these days has to have been hiding in a closet for the past 20 years. Just as I expect my professors to be tech savvy, I know my future students will expect the same from me. That is why I find it important to explore technology as much as possible and become the tech superhero that my students want me to be. Digital technology is a part of societal evolution. Those who adapt will succeed, and those who fail to adapt will be left in the dust. This not only affects what school is like for me as a digital native, but what life is like for the world.